Now, this may just look like a boat going. Unfortunately, he's outside the channel markers and he's about to have an encounter with the old dock blocker because it's low tide and they cut the corner and that's just not good. But welcome back crew to the greatest show on earth and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host Broncos Guru and today we are down here visiting Boynton Beach. For those who aren't familiar, the dock blocker is a famous sandbar right behind the boat ramp. Basically, there's a channel from the boat ramp going out to the intercoastal waterway. And even still, we see people hit the dock blocker all the time. They either cut the channel short when they're trying to come into the boat ramp, or when they're in the ICW, they just miss the marker somehow and wind up in a bad spot. And our crew, they're about to come to a complete stop because they're about to be on it, on it here in a moment now. You can see they're kicking up mud from the engine behind. But, yep, yeah, there we go. They're on it for sure now. They actually had a shot at getting off of this, but uh, well, looks like they're gonna be here for a little bit now. But let's head back over to the ramp, take a look at the action over there, and we'll come back in a little bit and check on these guys. I'm going to be honest, this is one of those ones that will leave you scratching your head a little bit. At least it's leaving me scratching mine. So we can see the boat on the ramp. It's being pulled out, but this crew unloaded bags, cooler, everything onto the dock i'm not sure that we're pulling the boat out i don't know why they didn't leave this stuff on the boat i mean even if it's being moved to another vehicle or something i i really i'm kind of a little dumbfounded on this one why they did that but and now our guy right here looks like he's trying to come in on approach on the dock but he sees the stuff and he's not 100 percent sure whether they're pulling out or coming in and i'd be confused too because when i would see something like this on the dock i think okay i guess they're launching but no they're not they're pulling out so he's gonna come in and dock right next to all their stuff. But see, you can see somebody here grabbing a bag and carrying it up. So our guy's gonna step off. And Not, he's kind of looking around. I'm not sure what he's trying to do here. It kind of looks like he's doing the old hot dock walk, trying to keep his feet off the dock because it's hot, and trying to figure out where he's going to tie this thing up. I mean, there's a cleat right next to the concrete pole in front of him, but for some reason, he's going to go all the way across the dock, which is kind of a savage move, because now his line's going all the way across the dock as he knows these guys are carrying things up to the boat. Hopefully somebody doesn't catch his line and wind up tripping. Well, let's go back out to our crew out on the old dock blocker. And as we'd expect, they've had to get out of the boat and they're trying to push this thing off the sandbar. Probably would be a whole lot easier if they trimmed the motor up. I'm just assuming that's the lowest point on the boat because the boat looks pretty much like it's floating and I'm just imagining that the prop in the motor is what's dragging at this point in time. I mean, the stern's going to be at the lowest. It <laughs> Definitely trimming the motor up would help for sure. But it also doesn't help that the wind and current's blowing in, so you can tell as they're trying to push this thing back out to deeper water, everything's kind of coming towards them. But at least the good news is, with this crew out here pushing from the stern, it doesn't appear they have the motor on. The amount of times we see that one, and it drives me absolutely insane, is crazy. Just we see people come out here, they hit the dock blocker, and try and power off. But then on top of it, get out and try and push while they're trying to power off. <laughs> and it makes a very dangerous and risky situation. So at least this crew was smart enough to figure that part out. But again, I just think if they could just trim the motor up, life would be a whole lot easier. Because I still have to imagine that's what's dragging right this second. Because the bow definitely looks like it's floating. So, looks like we're finally getting a little bit of somewhere. But not much. I mean, if he's in waist deep water, well, I guess she's not. 
but a boat like this probably only drafts 12 to 18 inches with the motor up. And they're definitely in that much. And here we go. Looks like Cap's going to go back on board. And hopefully not start the motor up while anybody's back here still. So we've got one out of the water. And now we've got... Oh, she slips off there. there. But now we got two out of the water. Overall, pretty good job by this crew. Typically, like I said, that's the one that I always get nervous about. Cap rushes back to the helm, wants to get the motor started. In this case, they push it out, but now he needs to hurry because, again, as we can tell, the wind and current's pushing them right back onto the dock blocker, so they need to get out of here now. So back to the boat ramp we go. And up, our crew's spinning tires. And they look like they are stuck. Gonna give her a little hell right here, try and get it done, but no, might have to get a little bit of a running start. I can't tell if this is four wheel drive or not. I'm assuming so, because we took a little pause there, which means I'm guessing he's putting it into four-wheel drive. We'll be able to tell, because he's just not going to spin him when he tries to pull out. Yeah, four-wheel drive it is for the win. So our crew's finishing up, trying to get this one put up. And I think he's going to go off the front try and finish getting it winched on. I wonder if... I, I'm not sure if they realize this. The motor is still on. So Cap's left the helm. And he's going to pull it out. Now she definitely knows something's not right. I just don't think she's 100% sure what it is that's not right. So she starts trimming the motor up. And again, I don't think they realize it's on. Now, I heard the guy say in the front, he said the motor's running, so he's told her now that it's running. And there we go. She'll get it turned off, and they'll be good to go. And speaking of good to go, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at the inlets. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.